During my undergraduate years here at Stanford, I had the privilege of learning photography under the tutelage of Professor Leo Holub. Leo started Stanford's photography program in the Department of Art in 1969. That year, Stanford students camped out overnight at the art office to register for his class. They were excited to learn about photography, and they were excited about the brand new darkroom, Stanford's first, that Leo designed and built himself. The darkroom is still in the same place, right here in the basement underneath the Stanford Art Gallery. Since my undergraduate years here on campus, I've been lucky enough to travel the world, both as a photographer and photojournalist. In fact, I've done over 50 trips with Stanford Travel Study programs alone. You might ask, do I still enjoy this? The answer is yes. Traveling gives you a unique opportunity to compare the familiar elements of life, but in a new context. It presents one with a combination of a new place and time. And I always try to honor and be attentive to these new experiences. So you might ask yourself, why take pictures? Why not just let your memories record the moment? These are great questions. Questions that all photographers and travelers should consider. I believe that equipped with the right skill set and tools, photography can become a seamless component of travel. The camera serves as an active extension of your eyes during the trip and a link to the stories you have created after it. Photos have an ability to evoke a memory like nothing else. At times, you can even look at a photo and remember the smells. As you prepare for your upcoming journey, we hope that these videos will both encourage and enhance your passion for photography. So consider this an invitation to become more photographically attentive. It's not about big fancy camera gear. It's not about every technical detail. It's simply about using your camera to become more immersed in the visual intrigue of your journey. We're going to use the beauty of Stanford's campus to illustrate a few basic elements of telling stories with photos. We've prepared three videos. In the first video, we'll talk about gear what to bring, and what to leave at home. In the second video, we'll explore the elements of composition. And in the third video, we'll look at focus and light. So follow me.